gentlemen, and continue a little bit of that applause for Mr. Al Yankovic, if you will. How are you, sir? I'm fine, and you? Reasonably well. This man has been very busy. Last time I saw him, we, we were shooting this. You actually brought a video with you. A real video cassette in there. I usually bring the empty box, you know, because they don't trust you. The uh, Weird Al Yankovic Complete Al, and there's a piece of literary masterpiece to go along with it, a book. We're going to turn you over to our interrogators, and they will ask you questions. Yeah. Are you ready, sir? I think so. All right, your, your name, please. Mary. Mary, what's your question? Where did you ever get the name Weird Al? Well, that's the first question, an easy uh, one. That's a t I'm not exactly sure why my mom named me Al. It, was, uh, it could have been a weird Bob or weird George. It was just one of those twists of fate, I guess. <laughs> Next question. Uh, did you have any heroes when you were a kid? Uh, yes, Spider-Man, Superman, Plastic Man, Speed Racer, Gigantor, Debbie Boone, you know. Debbie <laughs> Boone? What does Debbie Boone mean to your life? Well, uh, not many musicologists are hip to this, but Debbie really started the punk rock movement with her, uh, her head-banging anthem, You Light Up My Life. She really opened the door for a lot of the seminal punk rock figures. I'm sorry I asked your question. Um, you've just completed a four-month-long tour with your band, which you call The Stupid Band. Why The Stupid Band? Uh, well, we change our name every year to confuse people. Uh, this, this, this year's album was Dare to be Stupid, and we had a stupid bus and stupid backstage passes. It was a whole conceptual continuity kind of thing. You are weird, Al, without a doubt. Question. How is the band on the road? How are they on the road? Oh, well, you know, it's a regular rock and roll band. We do get pretty crazy sometimes. We do some pretty wild things, like every once in a while. I, I kind of hate to even mention this, but sometimes, uh, just for fun, we'd, uh, we'd make our beds before the maids got to the rooms. <laughs> it drove them crazy. <laughs> you, don't, you, know, you, you don't trash hotels, in other words. Well, if they don't leave any chocolate on the nightstand, then, of course, we duct tape hamburger patties behind the paintings, but uh, that's just in extreme cases. Strange man. Question. <laughs> Out of all of your accomplishments, which one are you most proud of? Oh, well, uh, I did write all the Beatles' early songs. Not many people know about that. And uh, taught Jimi Hendrix how to play the guitar, invented the phonograph needle, won the Recording Industry Lifetime Achievement Award. I think my biggest accomplishment and treasure in life is the fact that I'm right here on Dick Clark's Nighttime. I can't believe it. Sure, I, sure. I, I can't believe it. Get serious now. Hi, you have a new video at home. How would you describe it? Oh, a hundred words or less, probably. <laughs> Short sentences. All right. It, no, seriously, what's it about? Is it as crazy as you? Well, know? let's see. It's the uh, the amazing and almost true life story of a rock and roll legend. The complete story from fetus to present day contains all eight of my music videos. The real untold story of Al. In fact, let's see a clip right now. Stick your head in the microwave and get yourself a tan. Wait a minute, is that all you're going to give us? Wasn't that great? I love that thing. Isn't that fantastic? Question. You want to see more, you got to buy it. Yeah, what is your book about? Well, it's about 128 pages long. It's uh, got pictures and words and binding and everything you've come to expect from a book. Question. You've done TV, you've done music. Are you planning on doing any motion pictures? Um, okay. Are you, does this mean you're going to break into the movies? No, absolutely not. I'd never break into the movies. I always wait in line and pay admission like everybody else. So. It's a straight line if I ever heard one. Question. <laughs> if you weren't a performer, what would you be doing now? I'll probably be doing my laundry. I got a lot of it at home. It's all piled up. In the Folks, back. have you learned a lot from this? this I mean, the man really answered all your questions. Weird Al Yankovic, thank you so very much. You're complete, Al. We'll be right back on Nighttime.